Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. The treadmill is so loud, so I'm not gonna walk and talk because when I was looking over the footage, I was like, can't even hear what you're saying. Anyway, as you may have seen, I ended up getting a cold sore. Even though I did all I could to try and avoid it from happening, I took those tablets straight after. I put cold sore cream on, like a strong cold sore cream one that she gave me twice a day. And I've still ended up with this bad boy. <sighs> Which is so annoying. I just hope that it doesn't affect the healing process. Like, I don't know, like, is the line going to be, like, fucked up here? Or, I don't know, I'm just, like, really nervous. Anyway, so yeah, ended up getting that. I didn't even vlog anything yesterday because I was just so pissed off <laughs> about it. But yeah, I basically woke up with it, like... I, this Friday night, no tingling, nothing. I woke up Saturday and it was like already formed. So I was like, cool. Um, I went to Chemist Warehouse yesterday and got some more tablets. So I took another dose of those strong tablets and then I bought some more Survirac. So I've just been like lathering that on. I've got like a really thick layer of Bepanthamon. So that's probably why my lips look really white, but the whole like scabbing process i feel is done and after this cold sore is gone i feel like you know you'll be able to see the actual color of the lip tattoo which is exciting but yeah just got a little hiccup on the way which is super annoying because i do have i actually have quite a bit of content to film this week um like more than normal and of course it has to be on the week that i have a cold sore as I was saying on my stories, there could be worse things that we have to deal with, honestly. Like, at the end of the day, it's just something on your lip that lasts, like, what, four days, five days max, and then it's gone. So that's just what I keep thinking to myself. Like, in a few days, it's going to be gone, and it's going to be all good. Um, and I'd rather put up with this than so many other things that people put up with. So I need to be grateful that it's just a cold sore. <laughs> I'm going to go for a walk do my steps for the day and then yeah head to the warehouse i've got a lot to do and plan so that's what my morning is gonna look like felt so gross with this on my face so i just put a little bit of this on i put a bit of concealer on and then just like set some of my face but yeah i just could not go to work looking the way i was i just needed something but yeah you can kind of see my lip color just ignore this um peeping through i really like it it's definitely a lot pinky then my other lip tattoo, like I would say my other one was more like mauvey. Yeah, definitely like a mauvey, darker, dusty pink, I would say. And this is more like a lighter pink, which is what I would normally gravitate towards when I'm doing my makeup anyways. Like I'm, yeah, I'm very much in my like pink lip era. I think it's just what suits my skin tone the best. So yeah, I'm really happy with the color of it. I feel like this is kind of the end sort of result. It probably will fade like maybe a little bit more, but I do really like this color. Um, even when I'm not wearing makeup, it looks really nice. So yeah, I'm off to work now. The matcha that I made, I try to make a frap inspired by Starbucks, but I don't know what the hell they put in it. They must like pump it with sugar or something for it to like stick together, but it was so icy. Maybe I should try it with less ice, more milk. The taste is there, just not the consistency. So I'll try again tomorrow and see if I can master it. But um, yeah, I was saying on my Instagram, I'm doing like a little Q and A that I really want to do like a seven day of spring outfit real situation on Instagram, kind of similar to my 30 days of outfits, but I just don't think I can commit 
to the 30 days because by the end of it, it was stressing me out, not gonna lie. Trying to think of new outfits that I haven't like worn or posted. So I think I'm just gonna do a seven day one, like a quick one. I am working with a few clothing brands as well. So one of those outfits will be with them and I'm really excited because I just got the package on Friday and I'm obsessed with everything that I got. So yeah, one of those will be um, with them and then I need to think of six more outfits, which I think I have. But yeah, I'm gonna do that hopefully maybe the end of this week when this sucker decides to go down. Although now that I've got makeup on, you probably wouldn't even be able to know in my videos, but it's just like the fact that it's there just like really pisses me off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna plan out my outfits and film that this week. I'm gonna like pre-film it so I'm not stressed and doing it like the day of that I'm uploading it. So I'm gonna be all prepared and yeah, I'll do one of those spring series. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to work now and I will see you a little bit later. Just going to pick up my parcels. I probably picked him up on Friday. That oh, so you haven't got too much in yet. Hello, I am just in the warehouse, obviously. I feel like I never like film in here anymore because most of the time, like I've said, I can't actually show you what I'm doing yet. But there's something that I can show you because it's not really much of a secret. Like I've just been working on it like the past couple of weeks. But basically, if you guys don't already know, we do offer like e-gift cards, which means um, you can buy it online and it comes to your email and then you can like print that off, put it in a letter or a, or a card or whatever and gift it to someone. But I've always wanted to do physical gift cards. I'm just like designing it right now. It's just gonna be super, super simple. So I thought I would just show you what I was thinking of it looking like. Like I said, really basic. But I'm doing up a little mock design so then they can do it on their program. But this is kind of what I want it to look like. Just very minimal. Um, yeah, so basically like that's the front of the card, back of the card will have the amount. And then this is kind of gonna be like that material that you can write on. I can't even, I don't even know what material it is. But anyways, I need to be able to write on the back of the card. And then I want like a sort of thicker sort of envelope for it to go in. So I just designed this one, super simple. To love, I don't know if I should do to or from. I feel like to and then love kind of looks weird, but I like it better than to and from. Basically picture my hand as the envelope. It's gonna be like a little envelope where you tuck in here. And then the card will like slot in the little envelope, if that makes sense. So just be like a really basic, you know, gift card. So that's what I've been working on today. Pretty boring stuff, not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm wanting to do it before Christmas because I feel like Christmas is one of our busiest times. And yeah, Christmas is all about gift giving and we do sell heaps and heaps and heaps of gift cards over that time so I thought it'd be cool to have a physical gift card for December um, so hopefully that gets put into production I get a sample like soon um, it's definitely doable it's super super basic so I feel like it shouldn't take too long to kind of like perfect and then do the bulk printing and stuff like that so yeah that is what I've been working on today. You know how I keep saying like, I would show you what I'm getting up to in the warehouse, but I can't because it's all new designs and you guys can't see them yet. Maybe I should still film them on a separate SD card. And then when the time comes and it's actually out and I can show you like the process of it. That could be interesting if I can remember. Anyways, I'm gonna send this off to my manufacturer and see if they can put a sample in place i'm actually working on some new flat back designs for piercing because yeah we only really have like the moon the topaz and like the mini diamond ones but i really want more
Okay, I'm back and I'm really excited to make a snack. It's just annoying when you don't have snacks and you're hungry. And it's like that awkward time after lunch and before dinner where you just wanna like, just snack on something, even just fruit. I don't have anything. I got some chicken for maybe tomorrow night. I got some more strawberries, rice cakes. I also got a couple of these as well which I used to be like addicted to and I've started eating them again. Even though I'm trying to stay away from like processed shit, to be honest, because I'm really trying to like clear up my skin. Um, and I find that when I cut out like no sugar stuff or like processed shit like that, my skin thrives, but I still bought it. Anyway, Peter likes them as well, so I mean, he can just have them. I haven't tried these strawberries, but I really love the ones in the like yellow and blue. I think they're like the Biscals or something brand, but I saw these ones and they were like on the more expensive side. So surely, mm, not as good though. Maybe that one was just a shit one. Mm. Yum. Maybe they don't have them at Coles, which is really random. Anyway, I got some tiger bread because Peter likes that. I got some barramundi. Don't know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight, but yeah, that's all I got. But I'm going to wash all my fruit. I was going to get a uh, rock melon, but I couldn't find any. And I've got a melon in season because I swear I couldn't find them either. Anyway, um, I'm probably just going to make some peanut butter and banana rice cakes just to satisfy me because I am just starving and I always am so hungry when it's that time of the month. Like I could literally just eat non-stop. It's fucked. Actually, I haven't made my greens. Maybe I'll make that really quickly. But yeah, when I'm on that time of the month, I just want to eat anything and everything, honestly. this overly ripe banana which personally I like this is probably borderline a bit too ripe but still I'll eat it I love my bananas body I have two of these that definitely hits the spot how satisfying is that I just clean them all You know, I can't complain about not having snacks. Good morning, everyone. I was planning to go to Pilates this morning, but I just could not wake up for the life of me. So I'm going to go for a walk instead. It's actually chilly today, randomly. Um, and I also need to tan tonight. So anyway, Colsar update. I think it's like... It's getting to the stage where it's like all hard now and like almost looks like a scab. <laughs> so at least it's like not at that like really gross, moist stage. Um, but yeah, it's like starting to dry up now. I just really hope that it doesn't affect like the line of my lip tattoo. Imagine that. She said it should be fine, but I don't know. It's It looks really bad. <laughs> Um, and this little one here is all right, but yeah, I mean, what can you do? I'm gonna go for a walk now and then head into work like I do pretty much every other day. So that's the plans. I might just stop putting Sabirax on it because it just, yeah, it looks like it's over. And I feel like I don't really need, need to put more Sabirax on it. But other than that, I really love the lip color. It's really nice. It's like exactly what I wanted. Anyway, I am gonna go now and I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm at the gym. I thought I'd show you the new like Stax flares. I love them. I'm wearing black socks, so you can't really tell, but you can zip them up here or you can have them um, unzipped like at the front. 
and I do walk in my slides because they're so comfortable. Um, but yeah, they're really, really comfy. I really like them. Anyway, this is the little apartment gym. I'm pretty sure I've shown you a little um, tour before, but I only really come here to use the treadmills to be honest. And it is freezing, so I am closing these. Oh. This is gonna be me for the next hour or so. Well, it is definitely an hour. I need to grab my phone and stuff. got out of the shower because I popped on a tan <gasps> what's that cut myself shaving um yeah I popped on a tan this afternoon so I just washed it off I just used my not this one but this one but not this color the two hour express loving tan in dark not medium um yeah it's really nice and plus I only have to wear it for two hours I, I very rarely wear the um platinum one anymore just because it is an eight hour tan and I really really hate sleeping in my tan recently um and I just rather you know tan wait two hours wash it off and then I go to bed I'm gonna go and read my book I'm currently reading as you saw last vlog ugly love I know late to the party but I bought it ages ago actually I did bring it to Europe but I don't think I think I started it because my bookmark is actually our um airline ticket airline ticket plane ticket um to dubai like i literally brought it for our trip to dubai end of last year and yeah I, like i think i read like three chapters or something and then i don't know anyway so i've picked it back up again actually no i reread it and i'm almost done and i'm like obsessed with it so hopefully i'm gonna finish that within the next like couple nights um also for dinner i ate a fucking moldy euros pita and I didn't even notice until Peter showed me because he was going to make one because I he usually like eats dinner a bit later. So I made one like not knowing. It wasn't like really bad mold. It was just like those little green spots. Anyways, he goes to make one. He goes, what the fuck? Didn't you just have one of these? There's mold on here. Didn't you have this for dinner? And I was like, please don't tell me that. It wasn't like super obvious, but yeah, like every single pita that was in there in the fridge had fucking mold on it so my pita would have had mold on it and i wish i'd filmed myself making dinner because then i would have seen but i don't feel sick or anything like that like i said it was only like little like green spots like it wasn't like covered in mold obviously otherwise i would have noticed but like i don't feel sick or anything this was like a couple hours ago so i mean maybe it's good for my immune system who knows but yeah anyways like surely i'd be sick by now right if i ate mold or is it like not like the worst thing because like you can eat moldy cheese i'm probably sounding really dumb right now but okay i'm gonna go and get changed and then go read my book and then go to pilates tomorrow morning so i'll see you then hello everyone good afternoon so i just got home i did actually come home to a few deliveries so i thought i would show you one of them being a food delivery from a brand that i've never heard of before you guys know i have chef good like every single week but this company reached out and was like we would love for you to try our stuff so they are called the street food co i've never tried them or heard of them before but their meals look so yummy chicken schnitzel gnocchi what's this lamb ragu beef lasagna like there's so many like good ones and i don't know which one to have for dinner because i'm probably just gonna have one for dinner because i'm feeling a bit lazy but just wanted to say thank you very much and i'll definitely um keep you updated and then alani nutrition also love my fiji um sent over i personally probably won't be having this because it's an energy drink 
with a lot of caffeine in it, but um, yeah, they've been like circulating the internet. I'm pretty sure even like Kim Kardashian was in one of their like campaigns or whatever, but yeah, it's like a really popular brand. I'm pretty sure it is US based, but they sent me the peach flavor. I'm sure Peter will enjoy it because he drinks coffee like there's no tomorrow, but I'll definitely give it a try. But yeah, thanks for that. I'm in the mood for rice cakes again because I forgot to pack a snack for work. So I'm gonna make PB rice cakes with some banana. That's my little afternoon snack. behind my ears don't know how I feel about it anyway um, I just finished ugly love it was such a good book so now I'm obsessed with reading again and now I'm thinking what to read next I do have November is it November 19 that I haven't read I think I started that as well and then just like stopped reading it so maybe I'll pick that up but if you have any book recommendations that are easy to read, because I'm not really a good, I feel like I'm not the best reader. Um, like it did take me quite a while to get through this, like maybe a week. But I also only really read at night before bed. Like I won't really read during the day, but I have been reading on the treadmill recently and it's made time go so quick rather than being on my phone. Um, so yeah, I want to know what your recs are, some easy reads that I would like. I obviously love Colleen Hoover, so if you, yeah, if you know of any, write them in the comments. Anyway, I can't believe how quick that went. Wow. Okay, um, I'm going to go eat my breakfast now. I'm actually getting my nails done today and I'm so excited. I think I'm going to do something with art, like I really want maybe like pastel yellow chrome tips with like some cherries or something cute on them. I don't know. I'm feeling something like a bit arty just because I've had like plain nails, whether it's like a full color or my tips for so long. And I can't remember the last time we did something a bit fun. So, okay. I just had my oats. I'm just doing my makeup now. No, I need it brighter. I got a package from Huda Beauty yesterday and I thought I would try out some of the stuff. I already have this. However, I don't have sugar cookie, which is like a lighter shade of banana bread, which is what I normally would use. But they've just come out with like pressed easy bakes. So I'm gonna try pound, pound cake. Let's try pound cake. What's this one? Cherry blossom cake. Ooh, I've actually heard that pink actually looks really nice underneath the eye. Maybe I'm gonna try this. They also sent me a shitload of these. The pink is very subtle, but it's very brightening underneath the eyes. It actually is really flattering, the pink underneath the eyes. It really brightens it. I don't know why a lot of people don't like the scent of the Huda Beauty powder. Like, I love it. It's like, literally smells like cake. I don't know, I love scented stuff though. If there's one product that I can't stand fragrance in or flavor, it is lipstick or lip balm or anything that you put on your lips, apart from the Dior Lip Oil. Like this one, I, I feel like it's a bit minty, isn't it? Yeah, it's giving mint. I don't mind that. But that's probably the only scent that I can tolerate in lip products. I hate them. Like, even if I find like a good lip gloss and I can taste it and it tastes, it doesn't necessarily have to taste gross because most of the time they don't, but I just don't like having that like taste every time I like swallow. But yeah, that's like a big thing for me fragrance wise, but for everything else like foundation, powder and everything, I don't really, I don't care if they've got a scent, like it doesn't phase me or bother me at all. Um, but yeah, a lot of people hate the scent of the Huda Beauty um, powders because they literally smell like cake. I haven't tried this blush in a while. Kylie Cosmetics. It's very powdery. But it's very similar. 
got a similar vibe to the Dior, um, the Dior one that I always wear, but a little bit lighter. Hey guys, so I've just decided to film my little haul for Princess Polly, who I'm working with, and I am going to plan to do my seven day series. I'm just filming like all my content that I need to film for Princess Polly first. I need to do a TikTok and a reel, but I want to do separate videos. I said I can upload the same thing. I feel like the dynamic on TikTok is just so different to Instagram. Like I feel like Instagram is more like aesthetic vibes, like, I don't know, like put together sort of reels which I was going to do, like I was just going to do like my full outfits and then just put a song over it. And then for TikTok, I thought I would just do like a talk through, a bit more like rogue style, like more engaging. I just feel like people on TikTok would just get bored. Whereas like people on Instagram, I don't know, it's so weird. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm filming pretty much like two videos in one while I've got the outfits on. But I love this outfit so much. I thought I would show you guys. Um... I did have a white linen vest on before, which also looks really cool with this outfit. I don't know why, but I feel like I would wear this in London in summer. How cute are the shorts? I styled it with like these sunnies and bag, and then I've just got my sambas on. But like, I'm not a shorts person. If you guys might already guess, I'm definitely more of like a maxi skirt and pants type of gal. But like, obviously in summer, especially here, bloody hot and these shorts are so nice I got them in a size 12 they're from the brand Lioness obviously everything's from Princess Polly um but yeah I'm obsessed how cute does this fit anyways I need to get this done because I've got my nail appointment um or in a few hours but I didn't tell you guys I'm getting my outdoor dining table delivered today I got a text yesterday because they said the end of September and I haven't heard any updates since the text yesterday saying, hey, your table is coming tomorrow. And I was like, oh my God, it's perfect because I'm never usually at home. Like I'd normally be at the warehouse, but I plan to film this content today. And it just worked out perfectly that I was going to be home because obviously Peter's at the gym. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. So I'll show you guys when that comes. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to smash out this content and I will talk to you soon. Guys, I'm not even kidding. I just filmed, I reckon... seven different reels and like videos. I had to actually clear some space in my phone and I've got one gig or is it two gigs? I've got the most amount of gigs the iPhone Pro Max can hold and I have filled it up. So I had to go back and like delete some videos which I actually really need to do. Like, yeah, I have so many pointless videos on there that are like 10 minutes long. Like if I'm like recording myself training or whatever. So I deleted a bulk of videos just before, but holy shit, my room is a pigsty. The fit that I just filmed, it's actually really cute. It doesn't really look cute from this angle, not gonna lie. But it looks cute on my phone, hopefully. But it's just a satin like slip skirt with my new Elias May slides, not slides, ballet flats. And then this knit that I got from Zara put my hair up for the last one because I just realized I had my hair down for the whole of the other video so I'm gonna take it down now because it actually is clean but yeah oh my god my face is an oily mess okay um I thought they were gonna put together the table low-key but I didn't get the impression that they were planning to um but they did say, oh, did you want me to just leave it here for whoever puts it together? So I was kind of under the impression that they're not doing it. Because I was going to ask them, but then after they said that, I was like, oh, okay, well, it's clear that they're not putting it together. But, like, I would have definitely paid extra if I'd known if maybe they didn't even, like, offer that. I don't know. But, yeah, now I'm going to be left with so many cardboard boxes. Anyway. I got two benches, like, two bench seats. And then just like the table and the tabletop. Um, and I bought it from Early Settler. But it did take, I reckon, like 10. It said 10 to 15 weeks or 10 to 13 weeks online. And I ordered it back in like, mm, like basically not long after I moved in. So it's been a while. They probably are in stock now, but I just bought it at the wrong time. But yeah, anyway. I will definitely show you when that is all assembled. It probably won't be today. Maybe tomorrow or over the weekend, definitely. 
I need to close the door because there's flies. Anyway, I'm gonna make, well, I'm not gonna make, I'm gonna heat up some lunch. Okay, I've just got to my nail appointment. I still don't know what I want. Part of me wants red because I just love red nails. And part of me wants to do something a bit different and do like yellow tips with a bit of a cherry. I feel like she'll want to do the yellow tips with the cherry because she loves like um, drawing stuff on my nails. So maybe I'll do that for something different. And because it's spring, it's giving spring. morning everyone what a morning it's been i haven't even picked up my vlog camera but setting up my little rack cell that i'm having tomorrow i have got so much shit that has been like quartering in my wardrobe that i haven't worn in the longest time um so yeah i'm just like laying everything out that's not for sale <laughs> but yeah i just still need to like put tags on everything i need to put these signs outside Got Sunny's shoes. These are all basically skims stuff that I'm getting rid of because I just don't really reach for these kind of colors anymore. Like love them, but yeah, even like baby tees aren't really my vibe, but yeah, I've got so much stuff. And then over here we've got like dresses. I've just honestly got so much stuff. We've also got a mirror here as well. Everyone else is coming to set up um, later on this afternoon. But I also did get some packages, which I might actually unbox upstairs. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing this morning. Like I've been go, go, go. I had to go to Big W and get some stickers. I need to go get some change. It's all happening. I did have intentions of getting up and going for a walk, but I've been going to bed so late lately and I just can't get up like earlier than seven. Like my eyes just like physically will not let me. Anyways. That is for a different day. I'm gonna finish off labeling all the clothes. Mum's gonna come help me. And yeah, that is all I've got to update you guys with today. Also, I don't know what the hell is happening with this coleslaw. Like it's literally lasted a week. Like when I thought it was gone and scabbing, like I just feel like it just comes back. Like it's completely hard now. And I've just been putting like lip balm on it. But like, what is going on? Like, it needs to just go away. Like, I thought like by now, surely. No. Anyway. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I just actually made breakfast, also picked my face. Not sure why I just did that. But I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna go and head to the warehouse sale. And then I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna go for a walk because the sun is out and it is freaking hot. The girls have already started and they're sending me like all these pictures of dogs that people are bringing in and I'm like, oh my God, it's so freaking cute. Okay, we just went shopping and I just realized I haven't done a grocery haul in the longest time. We didn't get any like fruit and veg because we're gonna go to the markets tomorrow. Um, but I did find this, which I have been trying to find for what feels like months. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, this is what we got. I got some jelly. Also wanted to try these, which is like a better alternative sauce, I guess. I've never tried these. Have you tried these ones? The protein pasta. Never tried that, but yeah, got some of that. And then we use this for our Euroses. I also wanted to try this cauliflower pizza base. We got some meat, spinach, cheese, fries, ham for my pizza, pasta sauce. I did cave and get more of these because they're so good. Um, I have them with jelly. Some tzatziki, prosciutto, some Swiss cheese, which I haven't had in ages. And then Peter just got a whole bunch of meat. And then we also, when they're half price, we get a whole 12 pack of the so good unsweetened almond milk because why the hell not?
Okay, I'm gonna make rice paper rolls for dinner. Connor inspired me. I used to make these all the time and then I don't know what happened. I just, I guess forgot about them. But yeah, I'm gonna make three or maybe even four. I'm pretty hungry, I don't know. Four rice paper rolls. I'm gonna put mince, lettuce, carrot, avocado, cucumber. I think that's it. I used to put in those um like rice noodles, but I don't have any and I forgot to buy some today, but we're just gonna roll with that. Sunday everyone we are about to go to Hoda markets get some fresh fruit and veggie the blueberries there are literally next level you get them in like big punnets also how cute is my little friend a penny clip I love it it's giving spring that's pretty much all we have planned for this morning might go for a walk a bit later on Yeah. Legit. 